buckle up, because today we're embarking on a journey into the dynamic realm of language models. And Microsoft's latest creation, Orca 2, is at the center of the action. I'm your guide, and trust me, you're in for a thrilling ride. So, imagine this. Not too long ago, Microsoft unveiled Orca, a language model boasting a whopping 13 billion parameters. It was revolutionary, pushing the boundaries of language model innovation. But hold on to your hats, because Microsoft isn't done. They've now rolled out Orca 2, and it's taking small language models to uncharted territory. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty. In the traditional world of language models, smaller ones usually play copycat with their larger counterparts, trying to mimic their grandeur, but not in Microsoft's playground. They're rewriting the rules by empowering small models to think independently. And the secret sauce. Two groundbreaking techniques embedded in Orca 2. First on the list, instruction tuning. It's like teaching your model through real-life examples, where the input is a natural language task description, and the output is the desired behavior. The result. A small model that can not only follow instructions, but also tackle familiar and unfamiliar tasks with finesse. But that's not all. It's like giving the model a superhero upgrade with enhanced zero-shot capabilities and advanced reasoning skills. Hold on to your hats. We're just getting started. And then there's explanation tuning. Because sounding good isn't enough. We want the facts straight. Orca 2 combines both techniques, creating a small model powerhouse now, let's talk cautious reasoning. Ever heard of choosing the right strategy for a task? Well, that's the essence of cautious reasoning. Orca 2 embraces a spectrum of options, from straightforward direct answer generation to more contemplative strategies like step-by-step -step reasoning, guess and check, or explain the answer. It's like the model is saying, I've got options, and I'm choosing wisely based on the task at hand. But how did they train this small model powerhouse? Well, it wasn't a walk in the park. Microsoft kicked things off with a diverse collection of tasks, representing a cross-section of challenges. They drew insights from Orca's performance to make informed decisions about which tasks necessitate specific solution strategies. And here's where it gets interesting. They crafted task-specific system instructions tailored to the selected strategy. It's like creating a roadmap for the model's decision-making process. But that's not all. But even erased prompts during training, a process aptly named prompt erasing, letting the model learn autonomously. Genius, right? Training Orca 2 was no small feat. Microsoft cooked up a brand new data set, a whopping 817,000 training instances to be precise. Building upon the foundation laid by Orca 1, they engaged in progressive learning, drawing data from a fusion of the original FLAN annotations, the Orca 1 dataset, and the freshly baked Orca 2 dataset. The core of the training relied on a technique known as progress learning, involving a dance between Alama checkpoints, FLAN V2 fine-tuning, and a grand finale on a composite dataset consisting of 1 million GPT-4 data instances from both Orca 1 and Orca 2. It's a journey of epics. Now the litmus test. Microsoft subjected Orca 2 to a comprehensive evaluation, covering everything from advanced capabilities like reasoning to fundamental tasks like text completion, grounding, truthfulness, and safety. Spoiler alert! Orca 2 aced it. So, what's the future hold? With Orca 2's open source release, we're looking at a world where smaller models can flex just as hard as the big guys. Improved performance? Enhanced reasoning? Sign me up. But hold on, the plot thickens. China's 01.ai and Paris-based Mistral AI are stepping into the ring with models that go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big guns. It's like a showdown of the small titans. Microsoft's Orca 2 is a genuine innovation. Instruction tuning, explanation tuning, cautious reasoning, it's like the Avengers of language models, each bringing their unique strengths to the table. With doors opening for smaller models to shine, the future looks bright. 
That's it for today's video. Be sure to smash that like button, share this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Also, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and we greatly appreciate any support we can get. Thanks for tuning in to this dive, and till next time, this is Aria Nexus, and we'll catch you on the next video.